Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Should we clear out the entirety of the grass club that remains? Well, that's the plan at least. But anyway, <laughs> I did a little bit of modification to the swift deck because I thought, you know, it's been a while since we used that. And oh, I forgot to switch the energy types back to there. Well, whatever. I'll get that in a minute. But basically, I took out the Zapdos and put in the other Electabuzz. Took out one Machop and Machoke in favor of two Hitmonchans. So now we got four Hitmonchans. Now we got our colorless for the sake of our colorless... I guess you could say filler, so to speak, because it kind of kind of sets things up so that you have a nicer balance of stuff, so that you can always attack something, basically. And I think I'm going to do... 10 lightning. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's go over to her, I suppose, first. Do you like our club's garden? We work, for our, <laughs> we work hard to keep her pristine. I cannot read already. Beautiful gardens call for beautiful card battles, right? Nah. Aw, oh, I want to battle with you, Mint. Oh well. If ever feel like having a duel, please come back and find me. Uh, oh, same dialogue, okay. And let's set aside four prize cards. Shining Moth Scales deck, based off of, well, Venomoth, of course. There's no real other moths around these parts in this sort of generation of the game, so... Um, so that's iffy. That is iffy. But we shall see how iffy it turns out to be later on. Oh, Chansey, that's actually it's probably going to work in my favor, because it's more of a stall card than anything. I mean, yeah, it's got the double edge, but a double edge will take four turns. And by then, I'll hopefully have something. But for now, let's just go ahead and peck that Chansey. Let's go right for the eyes. Peck those eyes out. <laughs> oh, nothing really? Interesting. Interesting. Like, yeah, that was the only energy card. Okay. I'll give this to the Spearow and wing attack freely for 20 then. And save my Voltorb and Dark Electrode, I suppose. Because they're going to do the same amount of damage anyway. But, oops, but what I can do is uh, set this up, and... No, no, no! Ah! <laughs> what I can do is set that up and select the wrong attack. Yes, that was a fantastic play. Uh, so I'll plop that on there, Dark Electrode, and Wing Attack! There we go. I think I would have still taken the same... No, yeah, I think I would have still taken the same amount of turns anyway. To knock out the Chansey because yeah, it was ten down, and that would have left ten over. Oh, Hitmon Chan! Free retreat cost. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I might as well do that then. So yeah, that that speed things. I mean, sped things up a little bit in general. And of course, she's gonna do the Sucharuni. I do have Gust of Wind in this deck though, so that might be. A kink to her plan. Um, I think I should go for the Macho and just double jab the Bulbasaur. Because the Macho can do more damage later on anyway. Just might do another Sucharuni based on her pattern of Sucharuni ing. Yep, 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 okay. So she's swapping to the Scyther for the Fighting Resistance. That is a good move. But not good enough, for I have a Spiro waiting in the wings, quite literally, yeah. <laughs> we shall see if she swaps out that Scyther after I cause enough damage to it, I suppose. Evolving the Ivysaw, you know, she, with the way she's switching, she's just gonna have a bench full of incredibly weak Pokémon, and I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna wear them all down, because <laughs> she's gonna keep burning her energy cards. <laughs> She's not actually going to be able to attack with that. So yeah, that, that's part of why I don't switch all that often, even if uh, a knockout is impending, because I can always use those energy cards to power up others in the meantime. You know, I don't have to burn excess energy unless I, you know, I don't have to or anything like that. And wing attack Scyther. Surprise, she did not retreat. The big bug there, but all right. So here is the ace of the deck. She can shift her typing to whatever she pleases, and of course it's going to be the lightning type because, well, oh, she's got another one, because the lightning type it's weak against, I mean Spiro is weak against the Venomoth uh, lightning typing. 
Oh, hopefully she will not get ah, I was say, hopefully she won't get heads because confusion and poison is kind of kind of bad. <laughs> Just saying, I mean, I could cause damage to myself. Um, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, oh, oh, um, oh, well, actually, I should do this before I get all excited. I got a, I got a free switch here, but let's see if I can retreat. I still got to flip a coin, even though it's a, those are free retreat costs. But I'm gonna try and switch to Dark Electrode. Failed. All right. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, because once you try it once, you cannot retreat for that turn. But I was gonna go for the switch, then go for the Dark Electrode, and now for the Professor. I just wanted to see what would happen with the confusion, because I could have just used switch anyway. Uh, ooh, my champ. Oh yeah, I already played that. I dumped my hand out. Um, should probably put another because of the fighting resistance of the Venomoth. Probably. That's for now. That's energy bomb. What we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place energies over to the Voltorb. Ah, uh -huh. and the Spearow. See see what I'm doing there? Kind of setting up for the future there. <laughs> And he's probably gonna change the fighting type. That is correcto. And Venom Powder O. That is a fellow. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is take advantage of that. And give and have another turn to well actually I could scoop up. And Oh no, wait, that'll just return my basic Pokemon. Not the I was gonna say scoop up and then evolve the other one. Well, well, hmm, actually, you know what, I will scoop up, and then I'll put in Spiro. Ah, see what I did there? <laughs> what I could do is, by scooping it up, I can avoid that one, the, the, the powering up phase of the Electro, because I already moved out the energy cards, and then I can set up the Venomoth for other critters in the future. Oh, lightning? Yeah, of course it's gonna be lightning, that's exactly what I would have done. And Venom Powder, it doesn't matter what coin flip you get, because the coin flip is just going to yield two knockouts regardless. And, well, it's actually, I should say it's the damage that's gonna cause the knockout regardless. And other Spearow, actually, not the, not the Voltorb just yet. The Voltorb could be handy. But we're, we're, we're good for now. Ooh, actually, that's tempting to set up. <laughs> so many options. So little time. Anyway, <laughs> so we got the strikes back, and let's knock out the Venomoth. She's probably going to put in the other Venomoth anyway, but... Yeah, there it is. And she's going to do the shift to Rooney. Oh, lightning type, of course. Energy removal. Ooh. 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 <laughs> and, oh, man. Well, I can evolve the Fear Roll, but still. But still. So this is the weakness, of course. And you got the poison plus the confusion. <laughs> and so, yeah. 10 HP left. That's like a guaranteed switch. But I don't see here. Do I want to just automatically drill dive? Probably. Because otherwise I'll be risking the, uh... Um... The possibility of not being able to... Actually do anything if I get confusion again. So I'll just do 40 for now and... Do 30 with something else later. Oh, come on! <laughs> Man, I could have... I could use... Um... Switch, I think... Because that will... It should nullify, but I mean... Yeah, there's still a poison damage, so... I was gonna say, I could... Well, wait, actually... Okay, I'm gonna have to use Voltor. I was gonna say, I, I could, if I actually had the... Uh, yeah... Use that to nullify the power of Voltor, that kind of mess with itself. Oh, um, if I Professor Oak... Into... A plus power... That would be lovely. Let's put that on there. And... Yeah, let's go for it. I didn't have any Pokemon to kind of use Pokemon Trader anyway, so... Alright, plus power, plus power. Oh, I could dream, couldn't I? And <laughs> I filled up the bench. Alright, Speedball Voltar, you go and do your thing. And I'm gonna hope for the coin flip. Fighting? Yeah, 
of course, it's gonna be fighting. Now, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the coin flip. I mean, I'm gonna hope for the coin flip in my favor. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to hope for it two times in a row. Okay, good. So, no damage this turn. Good. Good. And not chop. Wait, actually, shouldn't I? I wonder if I should go for the Machamp, because yeah, it's got the resistance, but I could still do 30 with it. How am I forgetting such a simple aspect? <laughs> because yeah, it's 30 resistance, but Machamp does 60, so... And... Please don't get heads. Please don't die. <laughs> I could just try for the retreat, I guess. Try for a retreat and then try for a, uh... Um, try for an attack. Let's see how things will go. Uh, I got Defender. That's not gonna help against Poison. Uh, so yeah, let's try for the retreat. Watch out. Heads, please. Oh. Alright, so I'll go for the attack. Speedball! Ah. Oh! <laughs> I'm being game sharked again. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Alright, so. I guess I'll go straight for the Machamp because of the strikes back power. So she does damage to me. Wait, what? Did you just. You did lightning type and not psychic type? Ah! Uh, I think we're having an AI hiccup here. Alright, so that that happened though in general, but you're gonna you're gonna knock out yourself there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I got that. That poison is a whittling my machamp, but remember, oh that's right, I Professor Oak my switch. Oops, I was gonna say, but remember I have the switch to kind of well. Why about that? Might not be the worst. Uh, I'm gonna do Defender on Machamp in general. I just need to get one attack through, and then when she attacks with anything, it'll be. She'll get strikes back, and yeah. Uh, okay then. So let's go for the Seismic Toss. Please, heads for once! For the love of Arceus. <laughs> Defender helps against that, but it's not a. Uh, it's it's, it's 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 the idea that I wanted to get an attack through. Well, at the very least, like, okay, I was gonna say at the very least, I'll I, oh she's not going because she knows the strikes back. Okay, and Bill, please give me a plus power. Bill, plus power, yes, okay. Bill, and lightning fighting. Mm. All right, so if this attack goes through, I win a. <laughs> Um, let's do that. Actually, get this set up here, and let's go for it. I gotta get heads eventually, right? Yeah! <laughs> I, I mean, it's like the coin flips have gotta eventually go in my favor. Well, that took an awkwardly long amount of time. <laughs> Maybe I won't be able to clear out the grass club this part. I don't know. We'll see how things go. That's why I chose the Swift deck, because it's supposed to be fast, but I just... <laughs> tremendous, tremendous amounts of bad luck. Uh, regular old Flareon that you probably know and love. And it's got a flamethrower besides that regular quick attack, so it could do it be a pretty decent amount of damage. That's a lot of energy to use the flamethrower, so it's up to you if you're up to powering that up. But I mean, yeah, flame I mean, the flamethrower does require... I mean, you can... You use double colorless for the two colorless requirements, but, uh, anyway, let's- Oh yes, 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 <laughs> oh, yes! Good pull there. <laughs> and, oh, I got another Dratini, which means that I can kinda set up a Dragonair sort of deck with a Hyper Beam to wipe energies. Please come back if you'd like to play again. I shall. Uh, same dialogue, okay. Anyway, so she's got a new deck, Brittany here. Well, if it isn't Mint, good to see you. I finally got a good deck and some boosted packs. Please duel me. I am not ready. Oh, man. I've been waiting since I last meeting to challenge you. Shucks. I guess I'll get back to the gardening now. Okay, okay, fine. Oh, you're here. If you're looking for a duel, let's duel in the grass. Yes. Let's use four prize cards the same as we've always done. Toxic punishment to deck. 
And so yeah, her deck has been improved since the last time we've seen her, and that means we must defeat her once again, because we must defeat all the game's decks just because. <laughs> uh, ooh. Iffy. Iffy. I mean, I got Professor Rogue, but I mean, it's a iffy start. I don't know, Professor Rogue that many cards, after all. <laughs> oh, she's got sort of an iffy start as well-ish. Uh, poison. Oh, that's gonna be slight hindrance. Can I get something? Hmm. I probably should just plus power. And then Professor Oak. Probably. Actually, Defender, too. <laughs> just as long as I've got it. Because, yeah, that's kind of a iffy start, and I just, yeah, just cycle those out of there and just pretend that never happened. <laughs> uh, ooh, I got Scoop Up. That might be handy. Yeah, it's got the pack, but... Wait, but that's 10 after my turn. Then... Hmm. Hmm. I might want to scoop up. Now, nah, pack. <laughs> I'll just... Uh, yeah, I'll just do that for now. Because I already did the plus powering. And yeah, she's... A oh, that's actually going to be worse for me. But I was going to say, because... It Hmm. Okay. Maybe not gonna be worse for me. I thought that it had a... something. Yeah, why didn't you roll out? Ah. Uh... Okay, what's wrong with the AI? <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do here, since I have it, and now that I can save the critter to scoop up, put it back in the play. Pla oh, that's right, I already... <laughs> I'm an idiot! You know, I'll put that in play, and then speedball that Kakuna out of existence, but I'll automatically cause poison to myself because of the poison secretion Pokemon power. Not that big of a deal or anything like that, it's just, it's there. Oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> just kind of stalling me out with that Kakuna and perhaps going for a Beedrill. Maybe. Maybe you'll get one, I don't know, just see, roll out. Like, why didn't you use that? <laughs> I don't understand. Um... Uh, hmm. 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I should give it to the other Spiro. And then Speedball attack. Yeah, it is. It's gonna knock out Voltorb. But the thing about it is. Uh, I'll get the free switch over to something else. And. Then I'll be able to elect the buzz for the game winner, at least in theory. <laughs> Hopefully, assuming I get a lightning. Um, well, yeah, I'll just do that and we attack. Yeah, it'll cause poison, poison secretion. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I get a prize card, lightning energy. Oh, <laughs> I would like to kind of save my best for last, if possible. And Scyther's not going to be able to do anything. I can free switch over to Electabuzz, by the way. Um, I should actually put that on there for the future. Uh, I wonder if I should free switch. Because, yeah, I, I can't actually attack attack, but Scyther kind of kind of can't either. <laughs> and you can't use it on the next turn anyway, so... Yeah, uh, I know what I should do. I'm thinking of Pokemon Traitoring into a Fero, or maybe a Hitmonchan or something. Actually, maybe not Hitmonchan, because of the... I think I'll go Fero. I'll swap... Probably this Macho, because of the high energy cost. I'm not really that well powered up right now. Uh, we do a Dark Fero, that, that's the one. There we go. And then we plop that on there. And unfortunately... We cannot do that, nor can we retreat. Because, yeah, well, anyway, that's fine, that's fine. We shall... W oh, I thought you were going to attack with Scyther for sure. Okay. Maybe I'll just do this thing. <laughs> I might as well. I'll just drill dive. Get Scyther set up there. And, I mean, if it's not going to attack, she might be tempted to not attack with the Scyther. Okay, she is. <laughs> I just thought maybe, I don't know. She maybe had some other plan to go by. I like the buzz. 
So, ooh, Professor Oak, there we go. That That's the game ender right there. Uh, I don't know. Nah, I won't use Gust to win. I'll just, because she is kind of stuck for a turn anyway. So I'll just kind of, it is light, lightning, but wow, I'm really somehow lacking in the lightning. And my deck doesn't really even require that much lightning. And it's Bill again. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> now, now we're getting it. <laughs> uh, Hitmonchan. Spiro. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I'll put the other Spiro too. And also, as long as I got the plus power, because then I get Thunder Shock. I was expecting this to take two turns to defeat the Scyther with the Thunder Shocks and then a Thunder Punch. Well, well I'd actually, I wouldn't use Thunder Punch because you can possibly cause uh, 10 to yourself, but. And yeah, don't do not do that unless you have to, basically. Alright. So now I think we are good for the rest of the game. Ah, 40 damage. <laughs> Voila. And yeah, the poison is gonna do what the poison is gonna do. But it's. She's gonna probably wanna switch. Probably. Or not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, so. I'll I'll take it! Uh, I gotta switch. Maybe I should use that. Like, switch over to Hitmonchan, and then I can keep the energy cards on Electabuzz. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. There we go, Elect Lightning Energy puts out Pinsir. And yeah, I can actually read, read the screen just that quickly. <laughs> just, just mashing through it. Uh, yeah, I'll set up. Uh, now I'll set up the damage for something in the future. Probably the Electabuzz, preferably. But I, uh, well, let's go plop that on Spiro and just do a jab. She's got two prize cards, so yeah, I've got I got a pretty good position going on here. Oh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> So there is Le 20. Um, maybe I'm not in such a good position now, but I gotta definitely put out Electabuzz, maybe go for some Paralysis. Because yeah, Defender won't help that much. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go for the Thunder Shock, because the Gil you know? That didn't, that didn't work. Because <laughs> the guillotine would have wiped it out anyway. Nope, nope, nope. So that is a legit win, I would say, for an opponent for once. <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> we shall see is our toughest opponent yet, so to speak, I guess. I want him on! My deck is so strong! Oops, let's try it again. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's just kind of weird how I didn't get lightning energy too, so... Yep. <laughs> anyway, rematch! We must do the rematch! Now watch me just com completely decimate her somehow. Uh, probably she Scythers, that could be an issue for the Hitmon. But we'll see what she's got. Tangela, okay. Let's plop that on there, and Mill. I'm gonna attack with the Hitmon Chan regardless, so I might as well. And... Okay, yeah. <laughs> this is Jab. And there we go! Um, if I get the plus power, I can w quickly wipe out the Tangela. And... Well, we'll see how that, if that actually happens. That seems like it would be a little... No, see, it seems like it would be a little on the lucky side, assuming that I would get that. Um, should I? Go for the Professor Oak to aim for the plus power? Should I? Should I? It's very tempting. I mean, I don't, yeah, like, I don't have that much to dump out of my hand in general. I mean, yeah, I do have a lot of cards, but I mean, I don't have a lot of key cards. I should just draw into a bunch of duplicates and stuff. No, nope, no plus power. Well, I tried. Uh, another Hitmonchan, Voltorb, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, eh, eh, just see if we can try and go for that knockout. And okay, she's powering up the other... Uh, that's not going to be that useful. I mean, <laughs> the Stun Spore is more useful than the Defender, because you could possibly cause paralysis, but... 
Okay. Okay. Um. But yeah, I just plop another energy on there and special punches. <laughs> That's just gonna overwhelm the defender. And I was gonna do that anyway, so. So if I get a plus power, then I can just wipe out the Tangela now. <laughs> like again, well, okay, now I can't, but. I was gonna say, if I got one with the. Okay. Um. Let's go for that. And. I should probably Dark Firo. Get that set up for the 40 damage and end turn. She could potentially stall out my Hitmonchan. And so I'm gonna set up something else. And, oh, okay, yeah, the Poison Powder will definitely take care of Hitmonchan. Because of the 20 plus between turns, 10 poison damage. <laughs> Alright, so then we're going for the Voltorb. For the quick 20 damage swiftness. Yeah, we're gonna play that on the Dark Fearow. And set up said Dark Fearow for a little bit of extra damage. And yeah, the Poison Powder is a coming. I think I would have actually gone for the possible paralysis chance because she might have she might have noticed that I, I might be switched setting up something on the bench but I guess she didn't so I Jill dive for the win okay so maybe that first <laughs> maybe that first game was a fluke <laughs> well that takes care of that <laughs> eh I lost oh, I'm so hopeless Assault Booster Pack! Oh, I think we can get Pidgeys in this deck, I mean, in this pack as well, but we, we kind of have all the Pidgeys we need to right now anyway. Uh, you know, it's just a thing of that. Maybe you can get the extras, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's so weird, I was getting more excited over the Pidgeys than I was rare cards just for the sake of game progress. <laughs> oh yeah, that, I, I forgot the give that a little, yeah, you can ignore all week. Oh, I did, did show that before. And, uh, Premier Booster Pack to... Chansey! Really? That could be a handy little fluffer. <laughs> um... Let's see what else we get here. Okay. I'll practice really hard so I don't lose next time. You do that! And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I tackle the gym leader, I mean club master, <laughs> as well as another duelist. I think I have an idea what that other duelist might be, too. Hmm.